hello everyone in this video I'm going to show you how to work with parameterized queries execute the application now here I'm getting the complete information now what I want is I want to write a department ID here and click the button and this data should get filtered as per the department ID that means it should display me only those employees whose department ID I'm going to pass from the text box I'll just double click the button and I'm going to copy the complete code and simply I'm going to paste it here and what I want I want this code to get executed only for the initial page load so I'll use if not is post back so that in my next post post back I don't want this code to get executed whenever I click button now in this I'll write where DID equals to get the value from the text box I'll say plus text box one dot text where department ID value I'm reading from text box rest of the things are same save this and execute it initially it is going to load all the records and I'm going to filter it by passing a department ID from the text box now I get all the employees of department 1009 all the employees of department 1004 now say I have one more table here security table which has got some data in it name of the table is TBL security now let me execute the same application now I'll pass 1009 semicolon I'm going to write a query delete from TBL underscore security and click the button now let me go to the table security and execute this you'll see that there is no data available now what happened I can also instead of this I can also write a query I'll say update tbl underscore emp and I'll say set emp salary equals to 1 lakh where eid equals to 4 now please observe this salary that salary got updated to 1 lakh now what is this called as whenever I write a query with where clause and I try to pass the parameter from text box or any kind of input I can always append a query with it by whatever the transaction I want to perform in it this problem is called as SQL injection you might have heard about this term SQL injection SQL injection is nothing but appending some queries with parameters that we are passing to a query with input parameters and intentionally we are trying to manipulate the data or we are trying to destroy the data or we are trying to harm the data that we have by appending some queries with input parameter now let us see how does your Microsoft ADO.NET address this SQL injection issue 
do remember in your life never pass the parameter in this way using string concatenation always use a variable I'll say department ID is equals to at DID and later on I will say cmd dot parameters dot add with value I'll use this method to avoid SQL injection I'll give the parameter name that is nothing but at DID and its value is text box one dot text now let me execute the same thing and I'll say 1009 this works fine if I try to append something if I try to perform SQL injection let us see what it says it is going to throw an exception it is not going to run that it will say conversion of this failed to type in so this is how you can stop SQL injection in your ADO.NET this is how we can execute parameterized query and we can secure our application from SQL injection with the help of cmd.parameters.addWithValue method and you can have n number of parameters so for n number of parameters you are going to write the same method for n number of time say I have where department ID, ID equals to so and so and EMP salary is greater than at sal so I can again go and write cmd dot parameters dot add with value at sal and I can read that value from say text box 2 or something so do remember never pass your input parameter with the help of plus operator that is nothing but string concatenation always use command dot parameters dot add with value method thank you very much Thank you.